Howdy folks, Kathy Williams DeVries here and uh, at the request of a fan um, I'm making a video um, about the notes of the clarinet uh, the fingerings, where, they, where the notes are in relation to the treble stave um, especially if you haven't played clarinet since you was a kid and wanted to get back in I'll just do uh, the basic notes um, I mean the first note to start with is quite obvious uh, it's what we call the open G this G on the treble clef being on the second line from the bottom and we call it an open G because there's no fingers down it's the only note of the instrument where you don't put a single finger down and I'll also tell you about the different registers of the clarinet uh, there are a few different registers of the clarinet uh, based on um, the natural uh, overtone series of the instrument. You may not know this, but the clarinet is of cylindrical bore rather than a cone, so that the um, overtones uh, system don't go the usual octave and fifth, then fourth. Um, because you know with a flute or a saxophone you play a note and you stick the register key on it's an octave higher it doesn't quite work that way with the clarinet um, so when you play a note uh, say a C I'll, I'll, we'll go through this but when you stick the register key on it actually goes up a twelfth rather than an octave it skips um, it skips um, every second overtone so, and then the next register up is the altissimo register. And again, it's because you're skipping, you're skipping the fourth and going to the next overtone. But let's start with the open G, second line from the bottom on the stave. Uh, this is what we call throat note. Um, you, the throat notes go all the way up to a B flat and in my opinion probably down to about an E. But uh, anyway, um, so we're starting with the open G. Now you put your first finger down, put your thumb down on the hole um, and you get an F which is the first space of the triple clef. <laughs> and then put another finger down, put your index finger down, that becomes an E which is on the bottom line put another finger down, that's D of the, uh, which is below the stave put another finger down, that's C which is the first line below the stave now you have two options the next finger you can put down could be your index finger and that is a B flat being a tone below C but if you want to get the B natural you stick down your middle finger instead and then from there then on you stick your index finger down and you get an A which is two lines below the stave, then you stick another finger down and it's G now you go to the first of the silver keys uh, you'll notice there's four so I'll go through all of them the top silver key that is an A flat or G sharp so if you play your G and stick it down you'll notice it goes up that's because you can see that key there the uh, a flat G sharp key go up. Now if you stick it on the next one down you'll get a low F. Now let's go to the diagonal. This note here, see the, see the keys go up and down? That is an F sharp. And then the next one down is your low E. But don't forget that we've got keys on this side of the clarinet that do exactly the same because you see if I press this key, this key goes down as well and if I press this key, these keys go down. So this key here is your low E. 
and this key here is a low A flat not everyone has that key this key here is your F sharp G sharp you see when I press it that the F sharp key goes down and you'll see here that when I press this key the F key goes down it's it, they're alternate so you can either play E with this finger and or this finger you can play F with this finger or this finger and F sharp with this finger or this finger and if you have the extra key uh, a flat with either finger. So that's uh, the basic clarinet going down. Um, and there are alternative fingerings, but um, we'll stay with the um, we'll stay with the easy fingerings for today. So I'm not um, I'm not concerned. Um, with alternate fingerings, which well, actually I just showed you anyway. Um, so we, so that this register here is what we call the Chalamet register, and it's uh, named because the clarinet used to be two instruments: the clarinet, the uh, clarino, and the Chalamet, um, until they worked out that if you aligned the thumb hole um, diagonally rather than directly opposite the um, first finger you could actually create a clarinet with a register key. Um, but anyway, these are the throat tones. So you've got your G. Now, if you stick this key down, you'll get a G sharp or A flat. And if you roll up to this finger, you've got an A. And if you stick the register key down at the back, you'll get a B flat. Uh, these are what we call the throat tones. Now the next set of notes um, are exactly the same fingerings as the notes of the Chalamot, but you stick the register key on and they're suddenly an octave and a fifth higher. So that if you are playing your low E and you stick the register key on, you'll get a B, which is in the middle line of the stave. And the same with the F, uh, you'll get a C. And uh, with an F sharp, you'll get a C sharp. And uh, with the G sharp A flat, you'll get an E flat. And then as you lift your fingers up, the low G becomes a D the low A becomes an E a low B flat becomes an F natural a low B natural becomes an F sharp a low a middle C becomes a high G an a, a low D becomes an A a low E becomes a B, a low F becomes a high C. And so this is what we call the clarion register. Now there's another register of the clarinet which you get by taking the first finger off and that's what we call the altissimo register. And again, it's simply a matter of, um, it starts with a C sharp, which you get by playing an E and then taking off the first finger. Uh, playing an F becomes a D and you stick the E flat key down for tuning purposes. An F sharp, um, actually you have to play the forked fingering. Um, and a high E flat is actually the fork fingering of an F sharp, because uh, that that's because a, a, a normal F sharp um, is a bit flat. You can hear that's quite flat, whereas is is a lot better in tune. And then uh, a G becomes an E. Um, now to get a high F you finger a G sharp and then take it off. Um, 
and then from there um, a high F sharp is merely, merely this middle finger with the thumb and um, register key and you need to put this banana key down uh, because it is flat now the next note is a top G uh, there are a number of ways of playing this the most obvious is 3, 4, 1, 2 and E flat key so you can go 1, 3, 1 register key um, or put your ring finger down as well there's a number of different fingerings that's probably as high as you'd want to go through now, but let me just explain um, with the clarinet uh, that uh, the overtones. So you start with a low E, and go up to a B. Now you can find the next overtone if you really look for it, but uh, which is a G. But be aware, once you get to the E, um, yeah, and that's a top F. Um, so the G sharp becomes a top F and stick the banana key down. But that's, um, that's a basic guide. Um, I could explain uh, these keys. These are the trill keys. Um, if you're looking to trill from an A, from an a to a B, you would trill um, using the top two. Actually, you'd use the top one. For a B flat to C, you would use the two. Um, to get an alternate F sharp, this is an F sharp as opposed to the F. Um, you can play an F and um, stick the bottom two trill keys down. And to get an E flat, you finger a D and use the bottom key. Um, although you can also use this banana key, does the same thing. Uh, this key is your C sharp, G sharp. So um, a low B you can either be fingered this way or the fourth finger where you put down the first finger and the banana key. Um, so that's basically um, all, uh, I mean you can fill in uh, the notes but if you haven't played for a while I wanted this to be a general guide as to where the notes are on the stave um, looking at the clarinet. So I hope that's been of some use. Uh, thanks for listening. Any further questions, don't hesitate to email me.